in the body where it's easiest to just be with the breath and breathe into the body, noticing where the melody of the Nibun may still be reverberating. Just noticing what you notice. Shiviti Adonai Lenegdi Tamid. I place God before me always. May I take a moment. May I take a moment to rest right here. To feel my breathing. To sense aliveness. Inside and out. May I take a moment to feel the beating of my heart. To sense the air on my cheek. To hear the sounds that come and go. To smell the air. May I take a moment to rest, to open, to listen. And to remember that I am connected to everything that is, was, and will be. Shiviti Adonai. Lenegdi Tamid, I place God before me always. May God's life giving presence be known in every part of my body, in the depths of my being, and in everything I encounter in this moment. I nine 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 I nine 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 I nine 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 
Praised are you, Adonai, our God, who rules the universe, fashioning the human body in wisdom, creating openings, arteries, and glands, and organs, marvelous in structure, intricate in design. Should but one of them fail to function by being blocked or opened, it would be impossible to survive and to serve you. Baruch ata Adonai, Rofe kol basar umafli asot, healer of all flesh, sustaining our bodies in wondrous ways. grateful for the presence of the people with whom we are sharing this moment of prayer. Grateful for all of the pe people in our lives. We pick up on the suggestion of the Arizal who says, you have to fulfill the mitzvah of loving yourself, your neighbor as yourself when you enter prayer in the middle of page four. Areni mekabel alai mitzvat abore ve'av talereach hachamocha reach hachamocha. Areni mekabel alai mitzvat abore.
This is what Rabbi Nancy Flam says about prayer. Well, she says a lot of things. But here's one thing that's particularly beautiful I want to share with you. She writes, essentially, the sweetening of prayer can be understood as what happens when we stop identifying with our own painful concerns in a way that isolates us. Rather, through the act of prayer, our own concerns bring us into a much larger field of concern, the infinite field, where we meet and identify with the needs of all sentient beings, of all creation, or in the language of tradition, the needs of the Shekhinah. As Heschel writes, we start with a personal concern and live to feel the utmost, for the fate of the individual is a counterpoint to a larger theme. In prayer, we come close to hearing the eternal theme and discerning our place in it. It is as if our life were a seamless garment, continuous with the infinite. Our poverty is his. His property is ours. Page 14, a psalm of David. Nizmor shir Hanukkah tabayat David. I extol you, Adonai, for you raised me up. You did not pit, permit foes to rejoice over me. Adonai, I cried out and you healed me. You saved me from the pit of death. Sing to Adonai, you faithful. Acclaim God's holiness. For God's anger lasts a moment. Divine love is life. Long tears may linger for a night. Joy comes with the dawn. While at ease I once thought, nothing can shake my security. Favor me, and I am a mountain of strength. Hide your face, Adonai, and I am terrified. To you, Adonai, would I call. Before the eternal would I plead. Elecha, Adonai, Echol. Adonai, Elecha. Just breathe. Just notice what you notice. Accept it lovingly and compassionately. Whatever is arising.
You transform my morning into dancing, my sackcloth into robes of joy, that I might sing your praise unceasingly, that I might thank you, Adonai, my God, forever. The Mourner's Kaddish, page 15. Yit gadal vi kadash me rabah. Amen. Vi amad yirach yirute vi amlech malchute. Lechayichon uvi amichon uchaye lechol beit Yisrael. Ba'agala uzman kari yemur amen. Yehesh me rabah mo'arat le'olam lo'me'amaya. Yit barach vi shtabach vi pa'ar vi raman vi naseh. Vi tadar vi talev vi talal shmei v'kudasha rechu. Leila min kol berchata v'shirata, tush berchata v'nechamata, l'amiram b'yama b'yamur amein. Yehei shlom ha-rabba min shmaya v'chayim aleinu v'yal kol Yisrael v'yamur amein. Ose shalom b'mramav, hu yase shalom, aleinu v'yal kol Yisrael v'yal kol Yisrael v'yal kol Yisrael v'yamur amein. When Heschel wrote the words, to pray is to know how to stand still and dwell upon a word. He was really drawing on a 200 year old Hasidic tradition, beginning with the Baal Shem Tov, who said that every word contains the entire world. Every word contains the entire human cosmic structure and all of one's efforts must be placed into the word that one is saying. <laughs> Words are where we take our emotions, our, uh, our experience in our body, and we translate them in some way that in which, through which we can connect them to others. This is creation. And every time we use our words in praise and in prayer, we are partnering with God in that process of creating the world in this moment that began with God's creating the word through speech. So let's use our speech and be co-creators in this moment of God's godly world. We'll stand for Baruch Sha'amar. Baruch Sha'amar Ya'ya Ha'olam Baruch Sha'amar Ya'ya Ha'olam Baruch she'amar v'haya olam. Baruch she'amar v'haya olam. Baruch she'amar v'haya olam. Baruch she'amar v'haya olam. Baruch she'amar v'haya
Baruch Oseh Vereshit, Baruch Omer Veoseh, Baruch Kose Umekayem, Baruch Merachem Al Haaretz, Baruch Merachem Al Abriot, Baruch Mishalem Sachar Tov Vireal, Baruch Al Ad Bekayam Vanesach, Baruch Kote Omatsiliot, Baruch Shema. We may be seated and we'll continue together with the verses of Ashway on page 21. Ashway, which reminds us in the second verse, Ashray Ha'am Shekachalo, blessed are the people for whom it is kachalo, just this. Just this as it is in this moment, blessed are the people for whom it is just this. Ashray, Ashray, Yehoshve, Yehoshve, Vetecha, Ol Yalucha, Ol Yalucha, Ashray. Breathe deeply into it now. Yehoshua, Yehoshua, Vetecha, Od Yalucha. Accept what is in this moment in your body, noticing the state of your mind, heart. Just this, just this. Breathing into the just this. Shakahalo. Hearing sounds, feeling sensations in the body, energy around the heart. An opening. fullness of this moment. Ilato Dunai Dabir Pi Vayemare Kobasar Shem Kodsho Leolam Vayel Vanach Nu Nivarechia Leatav Yarolam 
Know that every word contains the entire human cosmic structure and all of one's efforts must be placed into the word one is uttering. And if one does not do so, it is as if the body is missing a limb. So let's set an intention of connecting all our limbs to this body through attention to the words that we sing so lovingly, so joyously this morning. Hallelujah on page 25. Hallelujah, 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 he gave a job. Hallelujah, he gave a job. Hallelujah, 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 <laughs> Hallelujah, <laughs> breathe. Just notice what you notice. Making room in your heart mind for whatever is arising. The joy, the yearning, the pain, the loss, the love, whatever it is, welcome it. The 
as a divine voice. The voice of what is true in this moment. So often it's hard to hear what is true because our minds, our thoughts are rooted in what was, what was once true, what, what seemed to be true and may no longer be operational for us. And so we remind ourselves that we are continually on the verge of crossing from what was into what is, where freedom lies, so like our ancestors, we stand a little fearful and yet filled with expectation and knowing that staying back is never an option. Going forward is all we have. And so I invite you to go forward together in this moment, exploring what might be possible for you in this new day, crossing the Red Sea together on page 27. Az Yashir Moshe, Uvene Israel, Et Hashira Hazor Ladonai, Vayomru Lemur, Ashira Ladonai, Kigaoga, Sus Virahva, Rahman Vayam, Ozi. Mikdash Adonai Koninu Yadecha Adonai Imloch Leolam Bayed Adonai Imloch Leolam Bayed Standing in this rooted position, our feet firmly planted in the ground, our legs beautifully balanced between our left side and our right side.
building a firm foundation for our trunk, our back, lifting us up, our shoulders reaching upward towards our ears, rounding them back and setting them down, which allows our heart to open up a little bit more and for our head to rise a little bit higher. We choose to bend, to use the muscles in our knees and our waist, to bend in a gesture of gratitude as we begin the blessings of the Shema, the Baruch Hu, page 30. Baruch Hu et Adonai HaMevorach. Baruch Adonai HaMevorach Le'olam Ba'ed. Baruch Adonai HaMevorach Le'olam Ba'ed. Baruch Atah Adonai Elohim Le'olam. Yotzer Or Uvarei Choshech, Ose Shalom Uvarei Et you illumine the earth and its creatures with mercy in your goodness. Day after day, you renew creation. How manifold your works, and I, with wisdom, you fashion them all. The earth abounds with your creation, sovereign, uniquely exalted since earliest time, enthroned in its praise and prominence since the world began. Eternal God, continue to love us with your abundant mercy, our pillar of strength, protecting rock, sheltering shield, sustaining stronghold. El Baruch Gedol Dea, Echinu Fahal Zarechama, Tov Yatsar Kavod Lishmo, Neurot Natan Svivotuzo, Dinot Tseva Av Kedoshim, Roma Mesha Dai, Tamin Mesafrin Kavod El Uktushato, Tiparach Adonai Elohinu Al Shevach Masayadecha Ve'al Me'ore Or, Shah <laughs> Shame Hael Hamelech Adol, Hagibor Bahanora, Kadoshu, Hulame Kablimaleam, Omochuchamayim Zehemize, Yenonim Shuzel Lazer, Latish Fields Rambenachad Ruach, Safa Gura, Ukenimakedo Shakulam Kehad, Onim Biomrim Bira. Kadosh Kadosh Kadosh, other nights world, Melo Kolaretz Kivado. Hamechadeshbarashkadol <laughs> God in his goodness renews creation day after day. The blessing of God's <clears throat> unfolding and loving Revelation on page 32. You have loved us with an unending love. We are loved by an unending love. You taught our ancestors life-giving laws. They trusted in you for their sake. Teach us. Open our eyes to Torah. Help our hearts attach to your mitzvot. 
Bring us safely from all corners of this earth. You have called us from among all peoples and tongues. You're drawing us close to you so that we may praise you and lovingly proclaim that you are one. Baruch ata Adonai, habocher b'yamo Yisrael, v'yahava. In the corners of the Talit, saying each word of the Shema on an elongated out-breath, using the in-breath as an opportunity, v'shmoa, to listen, to hear what needs to be heard, each one of us in this moment, beginning on an in-breath. Shema. Yes, yes, I am. Hearing what needs to be heard, understanding it as the truth of this moment. and yet not separate from every moment. and if you will earnestly heed the mitzvot that I give you this day to love Adonai your God and to serve God with all your heart and all your soul, then I will favor your land with rain at the proper season in autumn and in spring, and you will have an ample harvest of grain, wine, and oil, and I will assure abundance of the field for your cattle, you will eat to contentment. Take care, lest you be tempted to stray and to worship false gods, for then Adonai's wrath will be directed against you. God will close the heavens and hold back the rain. The earth will not yield its produce. 
you will soon disappear from the good land which Adonai is giving you. This is not a threat. It's just a description of what happens in a lifetime. We stray, we get blinded, and then we feel disconnected. And we feel that God has no connection or nurturing for us. Therefore, impress these words of mine upon your heart. Bind them as a sign upon your hand. Let them be a reminder above your eyes. Teach them to your children. Repeat them at home and away, night and day. Inscribe them upon the doorposts of your homes and upon your gates. Then your days and the days of your children on the land that Adonai swore to give to your ancestors will endure as the days of the heavens over the earth. And so God gives us this promise that we it is possible to return. It is possible to refocus even when we have wandered very far, even when we feel very disconnected and in exile, it will always be possible to look at the four corners of our seat seat and return to our truest intention. Ba'yomer Adonai al-Moshelimor, da'ver, el b'nei Yisrael, ba'amarta aleihem, v'asulahem, tzitzit, al-kan feivik dehem l'dorotam, v'nanu, al-tzitzit, ha'kanaf v'tiyo t'chewet, v'haya lachem, l'tzitzit, v'ritem oto, v'zichartem v'kol mitzvot Adonai, v'asitem otam, Lo taturu achare levavchem yachare nechem asher tem zoni machare hem leman tizkiru vasitem et kol mitzvotai vitem kidoshim leloichem ahani adunai eloheichem asher hotzeti etem de eretz mitzrayim liot lachem leloichem ani adunai eloheichem. Adonai Eloichem, Hemet, Viatsiv, Vinachon, Vikayam, Viashar, Vinaman, Yahu, Vichamdi, Vinachman, Vinaim, Vinorav, Yadir, Mitukan, Umikud, Vakubal, Vitov, Viafem, Adabar has the Aleinu, the Olamba Ed, Hemet, Elohe Olama Kenut, Suryakumani Shenu, the Dorvador Hukayam, Ushmo Kayam, Vichiso Nachonamakuto, the Emunato. There is no God beside you. You are truth. Emet atahu adon amecha. The one, two, three, four, fifth line down on page 35. Hemet. Hemet. Truth. The middle of the line. Hemet.
last in truth. We have no redeemer but you. In truth, you are beginning and the end, the first and the last. We have no redeemer but you. Emmet. Truth. In truth. Emmet atahu rishon atahu acharon umi baladecha Emmet atahu rishon Atahu acharon umi baladecha. God humbles the proud and raises the lowly, frees the captives and redeems the meek. God helps the needy and answers his people's call. Praise to God supreme, who is ever praised. To Hilot Lel Elyon Baruch Mevorach, Moshe Ben Israel, Lecha Anushira, Bismcha Raba Viyamruch Ulam, Mi Chamocha Vaelim Adonai, Mi Chamocha Nedar Bakodesh, Norati Lo Tosef Elam. Shira Hadasha Shifu Gilim, Lishim Chas Fatayam, Yachad Kulam, Hodu Vihim Lichu Vyamru, Adunahi Loch Leolam Vahel, Sur Israel, Kuma Bezrat Israel, Ukehinu Mechayudav Israel, Hualinu Adonai's vote Shemo, Kedosh Israel, Baruch Ata Adonai, Ka Israel. So the Amidah beginning on page 36b is a, a silent practice of words, but not completely silent. Try whispering the words, saying them just loud enough so that you feel the articulation of the words in your mouth and in your breath. And notice which are the words this morning that just open your heart, which are the ones that are like keys that connect you to the infinite one, and just linger with those words, each in our own way, beginning on page 36b.
Page 84, the mourner's Kaddish. <laughs> Amen. 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 Amen.